Hey everybody, how we doing today? So, got a ton of people in town and a lot more refugees coming down from the mainland, escaping that Arctic weather up there, and uh, to come fishing. With that, I get an influx of messages. Oh, Steve, help me catch fish, or I'm having a problem catch fish. And I always start with, boom, live bait matters. All right, uh, the Florida Keys is a prolific live bait fishery. You learn that, you'll catch the fish, all right? It's almost working backwards. If you learn the process of catching bait, the catching fish is, is pretty easy, okay? Talk to any local guide or fisher, local fisherman, and they'll tell you when it comes down to catching fish, nothing beats live bait. Sure, you can make things a little bit tougher and more challenging and throw artificials and throw flies, but if your focus on is catching fish, and just catching fish, live bait matters. All right, so what today's video is gonna be about is the cast net, or more specifically, tips to get you to get that pancake and get you catching bait. Now, I already do have some videos. If you go to my main YouTube page, go to playlist, look through all the playlists, and you'll see one that says cast net. In there, I've got the how to pick a, a cast net, how to throw a small cast net, how to throw a big cast net, okay, and all the different steps in between there, and that'll give you general information on that. Today's video is just gonna be about those tips, specifically for those people that have got their cast net and are just not quite getting it, and getting it to open and be able to functionally use it. Then after that, I'll probably go back and refresh, do some refresher videos about how to choose the cast nets and all of those components and then how to throw and so forth. But for today, I'm gonna to try to get a bunch of people throwing pancakes and catching their own live bait. Number one, okay, pick a technique and stick with it. Now there's a thousand different ways to throw a cast net and a thousand videos on YouTube on how to throw a cast net. None of them are right or wrong. If they work, they work, okay? Most important thing is to pick one and stick with it. My recommendation is that you do some basic research, find somebody you respect who actually uses their cast net a lot and pick that technique and just stick with it. A lot of people have run into problems because they see this someone throwing it this way, so they try it a few times, it doesn't work out. Then they see this style of throwing it, so they try that one and this one and so forth, and it just gets all jumbled up and they actually never learn anything. If you pick one, you know it works, that means you just need to figure it out. And if you keep focusing on just that one, it'll alleviate all of those other problems. Step number two, just get it to open. Okay, don't worry about all the other stuff. Definitely don't be trying to chase bait out there. Don't worry about throwing long distances. Don't worry about accuracy. Okay, your main focus when beginning is just how to get that note, that net to open up, expand there. It doesn't have to be perfect circular pancakes. It's just if all the, the diameter of it is in an open pattern, boom, you're golden. Because as you get better, you'll refine your technique and you'll get those pancakes. Tip number three, start close, okay? 
my target was basically this block and it was maybe five feet from where I was standing. It's much easier to focus on getting that net to open when you're basically just laying it out and dropping it right at your feet. From there, once you've got that, then you can start working that net out farther and farther incrementally now that you've got that system in place and you're just fine tuning it. Tip number four, rest, okay? One of the biggest mistakes people do is they go out and they start throwing that net and throwing that net and throwing that net and it's heavy, okay? And you're doing awkward movements that you're not used to and you physically get tired. Then on top of that, it's not popping open, it's just crumbling. Every time you throw it is different, you get frustrated and now you're just mentally exhausted as well and what do you do? You keep throwing more because you're now pissed off and you're just like angry. Okay, now if you think about it, what are the chances that you're ever going to get it right if you're in that type of mentality or physical shape? Okay, so tip number four, rest. Okay, don't try to learn how to throw the cast net all in one session. Okay, go out, throw it three, maybe five times at the top. Okay, if you get it, great. If you don't, stop. Put the net down, go on with life, go do something, come back in the evening, come back the next day, and do another three or five. Okay, what that'll do is that'll allow you to focus on what you're doing. Okay, because you have to remember this is a repetitive, precise action that you're needing to achieve in order to get that net to open. Any one factor is incorrect it's not going to open. Okay? So you want to be fresh and you want to be mentally prepared. Throw it a few times. If it doesn't work out, put it down and walk away. Okay? Once you start getting it, then you'll be more efficient and you'll get that repetitive motion process and you're set. But in this instance, throw it a couple times, take a rest. Tip number five, don't practice in the water. It just uses up a lot of energy. You gotta drag the net back rather than being able to walk up to it. You get wet, the net gets dirty, you get dirty. So don't practice on the water. Learn how to do it first and then go chase the bait. Tip number six, throw on the grass makes things a lot cleaner, easier. You can walk up to the net so you're not having to pick it up and carry it and it'll allow you to throw more often without getting tired. Tip number seven, record yourself throwing. Use your camera, GoPro, cell phone, have somebody film you, but that way you can analyze your throw to see what's happening do it from different angles as well will be very helpful. Number eight, analyze your throw. Once you laid it out, made your throw, you can kind of go back and decipher what issues might you might have. Uh, I threw a pretty good pancake, so I'd be fairly happy with that. Uh, the ways that you can tell is the way I throw, my left hand would be left front corner, right hand would be the right front corner, and then the lower side would be the uh, draft pulling off of my uh, back shoulder. And the rotation to the left would be from my left hand fanning out. So depending on it, where I had issues. So for example, if this side was tucked in, oh, oh shoot. then uh, I could tell that uh, the issue would have been with my right hand not throwing far enough out or too much wrap around. Same thing if the section closest to me was all bunched up, that would probably mean that I did not have enough of the, the third of the load on my shoulder to drag. So there was not enough so it flung out with the net and didn't have enough drag to kind of slowly taper out along the bottom. 
and same thing for the left side if the left front was not very far out it was sucked in then i know that my left hand didn't throw out either hard enough or i didn't fan out enough so once you throw it on the grass take a look at it and then analyze where your issues are and then you can correct that by reviewing your videos or just kind of concentrating on that one part that is uh, giving you problems and finally number nine don't give up all right uh, hopefully those prior eight tips will help you get over the hump uh, just think of it as like riding a bicycle for the first time you got a bunch of moving parts and your balance and you're unsure but once you got it you got it okay same thing I could ex remember exactly how I finally clicked with throwing the cast net. It was probably two or three o'clock in the morning because I knew it was like, man, this is stupid. I'm throwing this cast net, trying to be quiet, but it was just, I was having so many problems. Pretty much all those tips I'm giving you are because of mistakes that I've made and figured out because of those tips. But I was right there in that same exact spot I was teaching there. And uh, I had watched a video of a guy just basically holding the net open and just whirly birding it and just dropping it i mean it, it opened and that was better than i could do so i started thinking about it and i said oh shoot so i went out there did the same thing just looped it over and it opened and at that point i was kind of like all right okay i'm kind of getting the gist of what how it's supposed to be and then from then on boom masturbator so anyways hopefully those uh tips helped you out uh, go out there and catch your bait. Like I said, I'll be doing a few more follow-up videos, kind of redos of my past videos about uh, choosing a cast net and throwing the small, throwing the large, and so on. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully you found it entertaining or possibly even learned something that uh, might help you to catch more fish or even bigger fish. Now, if you're interested in supporting the channel, you could always pick up some merchandise at my web store at uh, www.allaboutthebait.com. I've got a lot of merchandise to choose from. Or if you're interested in directly uh, supporting the channel, you could think about uh, becoming one of my Patreon supporters. Now, I don't do uh, giveaways on my main YouTube channel, but over on my Patreon site, I would give away a ton of merchandise as well as gifts from around Key West. So anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching the video and thank you for your support. Bye.